Hey, what's up? In the last video, we were able to get a profile image displaying in the edit profile fragment. In this one, I'm just going to attach a onclick listener to this back button so we can navigate backwards. And I'm going to get images displaying in our actual profile here. So the first thing we'll do is let's get that uh, get that back button set up. So back arrow for navigating back to uh, let's go profile activity. And so I'll just uh, declare the image view widget uh, back arrow equals image view. Whoops. View find view by ID r to ID dot back arrow and then back arrow dot set on click listener and then click listener. Uh, let's log it. So navigating back to profile activity and we're just gonna do finish. No, nope, not final. Hit finish. Uh, I think I have to do get activity. Maybe just get activity dot finish. Yeah, because we're in a fragment. And that will finish the activity. The activity being account settings activity. And we close the image loader. We can close that. We can close that. And that'll be good. And I want to I want to move the init image loader method because it's kind of stupid if it's in the edit profile fragment. Let's uh, let's get rid of this, and I think I'm gonna put it in home activity. So let's put that method here in home activity, and then do uh, an image loader. Actually, we'll probably call it first since images will be loaded here, and change get activity to context. Nope, oh, hiccup there. Okay, close home activity. And something else I realized I forgot in, uh, what, which is it? Let me close that. Uh, in profile, act no, not profile activity. In account settings activity, I didn't initialize the bottom navigation view. So you can see that it kind of has this like stupid thing and the navigation doesn't do anything. So let's grab the one from home activity. Sure, because they're all the same. I'm just going to copy that and paste it. Paste it down here. And what do I need to change? Activity number. So I need to get the activity number from profile activity, which is just activity four. And then go up here and let's uh, set up bottom navigation view. Cool. And close profile activity, close home activity, close edit profile. Actually, we need to get into profile activity. There we go. Because we're going to start setting that up. All right, so we'll start by doing the the profile image up here. So the private void set profile image. For now, it's not going to take anything because we're going to eventually need to change this when it actually pulls data from the database. But I just want to make sure that it's working now. So we'll create a global variable for the image view widget. So image view, I'll do profile photo, and. We're gonna have a lot of widgets in here. So I'll create a method for initializing all the widgets. So private void setup uh, activity widgets. And right now there's just gonna be, I guess, we can do the progress bar and we can do the profile photo, but later on there's gonna be a lot. So image view, find view by ID, r to ID dot profile, profile image or profile photo. Let's take a look. This is going to be activity profile and layout center profile. So this guy here, and we need this image. So it'll be profile image. I'm going to change it to profile photo so that all the profile photos are going to be the same name. That just makes it easier to remember. Profile photo. There we go. And then call that here. So set up activity widgets. And then in here, we can actually set the image. So setting profile photo. And we can use our universal image loader since this image is static, there's just one of them. So I can do set image. And I need an image URL. So I'll grab the one that's from uh, edit profile fragment. We got this, this same image here. So I'll go like that and put the image URL. And what, what was next? Set image, then takes the image view, so profile photo. And then I believe it was the progress bar. Yep, so in progress bar. 
and we got append and in this case we have to append https uh, colon slash slash so then we'll go down here and just set profile image and let's run that and make sure that it's actually able to set that profile image always better to test more often than not okay head to the profile and that looks good it's actually able to set the profile image it kind of, I kind of would like to bring it down towards this way a little more but we'll work on that later we'll just leave that for now I want to work on setting up the grid view now so to set up the grid view I'm going to create a method and call it uh, public void setup image uh, grid view set image grid sure and it's going to take an array list of image URLs and for now I'm just going to put a bunch of image URLs jump my words a bunch of image URLs in manually but eventually it's going to pull the image URLs from the Firebase database so just for now we'll just put in we'll just manually do it just to test and make sure that it's all working find view by ID actually this should go in our widget. Actually, since it's contained in here, it should be fine. Uh, ed, ID dot good view. And I'm going to need to create a custom method for adapting the images to uh, to the grid view. So we'll go down into utils and I'll create a new Java class. I'll call it grid grid image adapter. And we need context need a layout inflator m inflator and we need layout resource and we need uh, which kind of string we're going to be appending just like we were doing because we're going to use the universal image loader in the grid image adapter so we need to have the file extension that we're going to be extending and then of course we need our array list of strings. Okay, let's create the default constructor. Get all that good stuff. Uh, layout resource and image URLs. I'm not sure why this is red. Oh, forgot to extend the class. Extends array right after. And we need to uh, use the super because we're going to be referencing the items from the array list. And I'll, I'll talk more about that when I get down to that section. Uh, so what else? This is good. We need to initialize the image loader. I'm not going to actually configure it here since we, we set the configuration in home activity. And so we need to use, we're going to use the build hold, uh, the view, hold, view holder build pattern to view the images. View profile image and progress bar and progress bar and we're going to need to remake this uh, image view widget because otherwise the the grid images are going to be stretched and skewed and they won't look good but I'm going to leave it there for now and we're going to come back to it so we need uh, get view and we don't need the super I'm going to return the view so we'll do final view holder, view holder, let's get some space, and if convert view equals null. So this is just going to be the build holder, the view holder build pattern that I was talking about. Basically it stores the, it doesn't load all the widgets at once, it will only load a few of them. That way it doesn't, it, it makes the app faster. It's, it's like using a recycler view. It's basically comparable to a recycler view. And instead, you don't have to set up a whole bunch of stuff. It's way simpler to set up. But if you prefer to use Recycler View, go ahead and use a Recycler View. Okay. Oh, whoops. I was going to call this Holder. Okay, and then we do Holder with the declare all the widgets. So progress bar equals progress bar. Uh, convert view dot find view ID or ID dot uh, I don't even know probably profile image profile progress bar that sounds right folder and then profile image equals image view convert view find view ID or ID dot should be 
profile photo. Actually, that's not a very good name. Profile image. I'm just gonna say image. Because the grid is not profile images. And I hope that ID isn't profile photo, because that'd be kind of a stupid ID. Let's go to, um, oh, I haven't made the layout yet. That's what it is. So we need to actually build a layout that the grid view is gonna inflate. So we'll create a new layout file. And I'm gonna call it layout grid image view. And so just just like if you're using a, uh, a list view and you have a list adapter class and you're adapting uh, that view to get recycled in the list view, it's the same thing with the, the grid, ad grid adapter. So we need a, a class that's gonna get recycled over and over again inside of the grid view. So we'll change this to a relative layout. We can get rid of this orientation and get rid of that spacing. And then we have our image view. And we need to set the scale type to center crop. That's, that'll give you the best looking image. And I'm just gonna say, whoops, the ID is grid image view. That's much better than profile image. And pro pro progress bar will be 50 dp by 50 dp. And center in parent true. And then pro whoops, profile image progress bar. Actually, that's kind of stupid. Uh, it will be grid image for rest bar. Copy that and it'll be here. And this was the grid image view. Cool, that makes way more sense. And then to complete the build pattern, you do set tag. And what tag, tag is a way that you can store, uh, you can store like widgets in memory, basically. So this will, this it takes the view holder and it stores the view holder creates all the widgets and then the, the tag will hold the entire view holder. So it's like storing the view in memory and not putting it on the page so it doesn't uh, cause the app to slow down. Then we can do else holder equals view holder convert view dot get tag. Okay, so that is the view holder build pattern. I guess I can just write some notes. Similar to recycler view. Okay. And then we do string image URL equals get item position. And this is why we had to use the super so we have access to this get item. You can see if I comment that out, I shouldn't be able to use get item. Or I, I can use get item, but it's not gonna it's not gonna grab my my array list. So we have to use that. So I can access them. Oops, equals image. Whoops. Image loader dot get instance. And then just like we did in um, the image loader class, we have to set some properties so and display the image. So we do m append which is whatever we need to prepend to the image URL, then the image URL itself, and then holder dot, uh, this is gonna be our image, so holder dot image, and then new image loader listener. And we're gonna do basically the exact same thing. So I'm just gonna copy it. I'm gonna go into here, and I'm gonna grab all this stuff right up to there. And I'm gonna paste it in there, because it's exactly the same. Uh, progress. Oh, because I need to do holder. Holder dot progress bar. So let's just get all of that in there. Cool. And then at the very, whoops, forgot those. And then at the very bottom, we got to return convert view. Okay, so there is our grid view adapter. There's going to be an issue with it. I'll tell you right now. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but I'm going to show you what the issue is, and then we're going to fix it. So let's go back to profile activity and we'll actually adapt a list of images to the grid view. Private void temp grid 
setup? Sure, because this is just going to be a temporary way to set up the, uh, the grid view. And I'm going to gr uh, grab a bunch of image URLs. So I just grabbed a bunch of, like I grabbed some images from Reddit, I grabbed some images from the internet. It doesn't matter, they're just a bunch of images. The point is to just uh, test the universal image loader. So that's all I wanted to do, and then we can do uh, setup, setup image grid, and then pass that bunch of URLs. Cool. So then in here, we'll create our grid image adapter. So I'll just call that adapter equals new whoops, grid image adapter, and then context, and then r dot layout. This is the layout that I just made. So it's the the grid image view layout. This is the one that's going to get recycled over and over again. And then we want to pass our image URLs. And this is where we put, what's the problem here? Append and then image URLs. Okay. So I can put this here. And append is what we want to prepend. Um, am I missing? I'm missing something. So we have context, layout, Context layout and then layout resource. I don't think I need to pass that layout resource. Oh no, it's the inflator. I don't, sorry, I don't need the inflator. And then this is, I see change, oops, change this. Let's put it here. Layout inflator uh, context dot get system service. Uh, context dot layout inflator service. There we go. Just a little correction there. That should be good now. Uh, we can close the universal image loader also. Uh, so we have our grid adapter. And now we just need to set the grid view, set the adapter to the grid view. Okay, so we'll go here and we'll go temp grid setup and we'll take a look. And there should, there should be a problem. There definitely will be a problem. <clears throat> I don't want to give it away yet, but I just want to show it to you and then we'll fix it. Ah, see, <laughs> that's the problem. The images are all stupid. They, they're different sizes, so the way that they load is not good. <laughs> so basically what we need to do here is we need to create, like uh, we need to override the image view class and make it so that the images are all square and then center crop them. But this video is already kind of long, so I'm gonna stop it here, and then in the next class, in the next video, we'll we'll fix this issue. So I'll see you guys in the next video.